Hi, I'm Gary from Stones Barbecue. Joining me today, I'm going to do uh, a rib roast, uh, an extra matured rib roast, which is about three and a half pounds. I'm um, going to do it on the workhorse pits, reverse sear, um, put it on the main chamber and smoke it until it's about 120, 125 internal, that's Fahrenheit. Uh, and then take it off there and put it on the cowboy grill side, directly over the fire, uh, just to crisp up the edges a bit uh, until the internal is around about 130, 135, which is a good medium rare. And this is what we're using. So all we're gonna do is put salt and pepper on this roast. Take this off here. A quick pat dry. Should probably take a couple of hours cooking this should. And it's just literally a 50-50 mix of salt and pepper. that's ready to go on the smoker. Okay, well now we've got some smoke coming on. We'll put the rib roast on. And um, I've got a couple of probes that I want to put in. It's the Thermoworks smoke thermometer. So I've got one just measuring the ambient temperature. And I've got the other one, which is going to go straight into about the thickest part of the meat. Get it in. There we go. And uh, we'll let that roll around about 225 until we get an internal temperature of about 125, 130. Then we'll take it off and put it onto the cowboy grill straight over the uh, fire and get a nice crust on it. Okay, so the roast is at 125 degrees internal. So let's have a look. So it's got a lovely colour. I need to take that off now and put it on the cowboy grill and just get some uh, crisp on the outside and get it up to about 130 internal. So here we have the cooked rib, it says roast but it's, it's only a single rib really. Uh, it's been on for about three hours and then on the cowboy grill afterwards. Just left it to rest for 10 minutes or so. Lots of juice coming out of there. Let's just take the bone off and then we'll um, carve it up. See what it's like. Looking forward to this. Been looking forward to it all day. That was pretty good. I'm pleased with that. 